So hello guys, welcome back to another redstone tutorial, this is Ryan here. In today's episode I'm going to be running you through the basic logic gates for Minecraft circuits. If you ever make a big contraption or a big computer or anything like that in Minecraft with redstone you will use many of these logic gates. So I'm just going to start off simple. First of all, it's just a normal input output gate. You've got to leave it off when it's up, when it's down it's on, on, off. And then you've got a button which stays on for about one and a half seconds and then goes off. Less than that actually. So the first gate is a not gate. Basically all that does is it inverts it. So this time instead when the lever's up now instead of being off it's on. So you press it down and it goes off and up and it's on again. And then this time when you press the button it goes off for a bit then comes back on. So that's very simple. Everyone should probably know that. In the first gate you've got an AND gate. So uh, I'm using levers here but you could this is the exact same thing if you have a system like this with a wire going into it but just to save space I'm using levers exactly on the block there so at the moment it, the output is off when these two are on and then when they're both off so that and that hence the name and that comes on so just one on and then it goes back off so they need to both be off for it to be on then you've got a NAND gate, this is basically a NOT AND gate, so it's just this the NAND gate inverted. So this time, when they're both on, that's off. This time they're both on, and the output's on. And it stays on until they're both down, off, and then the whole thing goes off. Next gate is an OR gate. So it's off at the moment, but it will go on if that or that lever on, or, or if they're both on. So they both have to be off for it to be off on an OR gate. Next one is a NOR gate, just NOT OR gate. So it's just exactly the same as that but inverted, so this time it's on. And then if that goes off, or that goes off, that will be off. And then you go to XOR, this is like an exclusive gate. So the output will only be on when one of these is on, so when these are two are different. So at the moment they're the same, you can see it's off. But change one and it goes on. Make them the same again, goes off. Change one, goes on again. Pretty simple. And the next one is the inverted version of that. So at the moment they're both on, and as you can see, the output there is on. So turn one off, goes off. Turn this one off, goes off. Make them both the same, and it comes back on. Pretty simple. So now you move on to RS Norlatch. This is a memory cell. So as you can see, this is on at the moment. If I let's see, I'll start on this side. This is off. If I press that one on, it will stay on now. Whatever whatever I do with this lever, it will stay on. So it's a memory cell. It's remembered it. However, if I want to change it, I then have to go over to this one and then press that, and it will change it back to this one powered on. And then once again, it doesn't do anything until I use that lever. <coughs> This is very useful for having buttons, as you can see at the moment this button is off, but if I press it now the button will go on and stay on, whereas the button should normally go off after about a second or so. And then once again, if you want to put this wire back on, you have to press that button again. So that's your RS NOR latch. The next one is another memory cell, RS NAND latch. What this does is, if you have this one on, so that wire goes off, it is not affected by this lever at all. And then same if you have this one off. This wire goes off and it's not affected at all by this one. And finally the last gate is a rapid pulser. As you can see it's just rapidly pulsing away. If I put a note block, da note block down you'll be able to see what it does. You can see it's just continuously going off really quickly. So uh, that's it for the uh, Basic logic gates, guys. Um, I'll add a just I'll add a picture in the description of how to make each of these logic gates, as I've just covered how to what they do. However, if you want me to, I could do a video on how to build each one and how to make them and the many different cases of how you can make it. So uh, that's all for now, guys. I hope you've learned something in this episode, and make sure you check back next week when we'll well Wednesday. And I'll be going up showing you my rock paper scissors over here. And I'll also 
check back for the next episode where I'll be going more in depth and showing you some more complicated gates and uh, designs you can make with redstone. So that's all for now guys.